Guys, welcome to Greenock Morton Football Club. The weather is always like this in Greenock, so you can look forward to plenty of sunshine here. Yeah, I mean, the weather today is lovely. I hope, hopefully it stays like this for the majority of the season, but... I doubt it, to be quite doubtful. honest. Yeah, right? yeah, it's probably highly doubtful, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, listen, how did the transfer come about? Um, just really, uh, just talking to the uh, gaffer. Obviously, he spoke to like, my agent, and um, uh, my agent kind of relayed it to me. And obviously, I remember coming here last season. Uh, it was like one of my first few games that I played. Um, and yeah, obviously I knew, I knew, the, I knew about the team, and it was it was a tough game. It was a tough game, and that's what I do remember. So when it when it did come up, uh, it was definitely something I was interested in. And then speaking to the manager just kind of sealed it for me. And yeah, I really uh, was excited to come here. Do you know much about Gus? Uh, no, not too much. Not uh, not too much. I know obviously a few teams that he's um, managed um, over the years, but. Uh, personally, no, no, it's not it's obviously someone I've worked with yet, but we have uh, obviously mutual mutual people that we know, and um, and yeah, some some people that I've maybe that like, spoke to, they they heard good things about him as well, and and uh, yeah, I can definitely um, agree with that. Obviously, speaking to him, um, come across as a as a great guy and someone who I would uh, obviously like to work under. You mentioned the fact that you played here already, and we were doing the live match, of course, the capital last season. And uh, my partner in crime, Big Andy Ritchie, was raving about you. Um, he saw you as a real unit, something you can powerful, but plenty of skill as well. Is that what you're looking to bring to the team? Yeah, I think, um, you know, obviously there's the physicality part, but, um, you know, I like to play football as well and, um, you know, get on the end of crosses and obviously put myself about and um, bring people into play, but obviously to score goals, obviously. So, um, yeah, just pretty much all around, um, kind of. You know them sort of throwback centre forwards, but, uh, but obviously in the modern times, um, which you probably see less of nowadays. But you know it's, that's probably where I sort of base my game around. That is a good expression, actually, a throwback centre forward, because that's how we saw you. You know, but yeah, but yeah you're right. Bringing bringing players into the, the game as well. One thing about you as well, guys, you, you've got lots of experience because you, 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 you've been around the game. I imagine that's something you're looking to bring to the dressing room as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, you know. Obviously, the experience side uh, over the years, and obviously playing up here before, previously, and um, obviously with last season as well. You know, it's just uh, obviously be there to, to obviously help any any other young players or whatnot, and just add to the experience that we got. But we got we got great lads in the in the change room already. Um, that I've obviously met yesterday, and you know we've got bags of experience, and and obviously young players coming through. So it's a good mix, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can. Um, Definitely get together and do something good this season. You might want to stay away from Robbie Muirhead. He's a bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he was he was doing a few things that I was. That <laughs> I bet he was. <laughs> that was questionable yesterday, but um, yeah, you can see he's a character and he and he's a great guy as well. So, yeah. Do you set yourself targets this season, goals or whatever? Uh, yeah, I do. I do uh, personally. Um, keep to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You don't need to share it with us. <laughs> but um, yeah, I do and. Uh, it's pretty much uh, each game. I just um, look to put in the performance first, and I think if I get that in, then obviously you know the goals will come. But for first and foremost, it's probably the performance uh, to help the team and and to win. Then you know if you, if you if you do that, then hopefully you tick all the other boxes at the same time as well. But yeah, it's probably how my process is. Yeah, it's been a pretty short close season isn't it really but you were saying to me you, you've kept yourself in training you kept yourself fit and hopefully you'll be up to speed with the boys when you get into a training session yeah I've uh, obviously been uh, trying to keep myself fit on, on the off season um, and you know just keep myself ticking over but uh, you know playing playing football is, uh, I, I always say is different you know you can do all the running and and whatnot but when you start playing football and training there's always a different sort of fitness level um, so you know, I was able to do that yesterday with the lads, and uh, yeah, obviously I didn't feel too bad. Um, obviously, still with some more work to do and to get up to, to obviously match fitness. But um, yeah, that will come with the way we're training as well, and intensity uh, will definitely come with the, as the days go on. Well, guys, as I said, welcome to the club, uh, and we'll look forward to seeing your performances out on this pitch and around the country as well. Cheers, thanks, appreciate it.